Hi, I'm Don Ketchup. For those of you who don't know, I don't normally show my face on camera, but from now and the foreseeable future, I will be, so you can either see this as a positive or a negative. This will mean that as the viewer, you'll get to know me a lot better and hopefully come to enjoy the videos a lot more, but enough about me, let's go on with the video. Before I start, I'd quickly like to say that a lot of the information found in this video were from videos from The Asher Show and Sunny V2, so their links will be in the description, go check out their videos after this video though. For this video, I've rounded up all of the biggest Mr. Beast clones and copycats on YouTube, and today we're going to take a look at all that they've done and seeing if any random person could just copy Mr. Beast and become YouTube famous. The Stokes Twins. These pranksters turned copycats might actually be the worst and best on this list, as they have managed to not only copy some of the biggest YouTubers on the platform, but also managed to get away with it with little to no consequences whatsoever. When YouTube noticed what these prank channels were doing and how over the top they were going, they decided to change their terms of service, which meant that the Stokes twins had to change up their content completely. And that's exactly what they did. They went from making crap content to making crap content packaged in the best wrapping paper money can buy also known as Mr. Beast's work. The list of creators they stole from is huge, with some of the main ones being Mr. Beast, Unspeakable, Faze Rug, David Dobrik, and it just gets worse. They uploaded a video about online school, and it all seemed to be going okay, as they hadn't copied anyone's thumbnail. But, as their channel is quite big, people started to notice some similarities between their videos and someone else's by the name of Charles the French. Everyone, and welcome to this online class. Click present when I call your name. Uh, Jack? Okay. Peter? Okay. Charles? Present. Welcome to your first day of online class. Now, when I call your name, click the space bar so I know your presence. Uh, Andrew? Lexi? Um, uh, Alan? Uh, radon is the accumulating the places where ventilation is inadequate, such as uh, in and out of ground or mine, maybe uh, build up inside to long-term exposure. To All right, I'm going to give everyone a quick second to write this down. Okay, moving on to calculate the circumference of the sun. The sun is a star center of the solar system. And when Charles noticed this, he wasn't very happy and made a video all about how the Stokes twins had basically copied his video word by word. Word for word. Before this, the twins have only stolen ideas and thumbnails, but now they've taken an entire video and after receiving a small amount of backlash, they realize that nothing's gonna happen to them. So they just continue to do it. Because why wouldn't you when you pull in 100 million views a month using someone else's work? I watch, well, way too much YouTube. So when I was researching for this video and saw this thumbnail, I couldn't not include it. Because basically what they've done is stolen the idea, looked up the idea, taken this thumbnail and this one, combined them together, and created theirs. A4. A big portion of the copycats live in different countries and therefore speak different languages, which means that it's a lot easier for them to copy other creators because the chances of someone speaking English getting recommended a Spanish speaking video is highly unlikely. Which is why it took so long for Mr. Beast to notice the Russian YouTuber A4 stealing his video ideas and thumbnails. Although the ideas were the same, the actual content in the videos aren't, and you can see by comparing both pieces of content which one really is higher quality. And for about two years, all of A4's fans had no idea what was happening until Mr. East tweeted about this channel that had been copying him and his thumbnails. And news quickly spread to A4's viewers, as all the Mr. Beast fans rushed into the comment section to let everyone know what had been happening. Even after this, it continued to happen with A4 branching out and stealing other big creators' thumbnails. But after years of Mr. Beast fans commenting on his videos, he finally decided to make a change. And now is trying his best not to Photoshop his face onto other creators' content and instead is making original thumbnail ideas. And now, would it really be a Mr. Beast copycat video without mentioning a certain creator with a bold friend named Martin? Morgs. If you've been on the internet in the past couple years, the chances are you've heard of the creator Morgs and the transformation him and his content have been going through the past couple years. He was doing quite well for himself, making over the top content aimed towards a younger audience. Yo guys, it's Morgs. Only joking, it's me, Bold Martin. Until one day, he stumbled across a Mr. Beast video and decided, I'll take this. And the more he did this, the more people started to notice and therefore started to tell Mr. Beast and the countless other creators he'd stolen from 
And with that, it was only a matter of time before the bigger creators noticed and replied. And in May 2019, for about three months, Mr. Beast clapped back at Morgs with some of the best replies I've seen. For example, Morgs tweeted out, what 24 hour challenge should I do? And Mr. Beast replied with, 24 hour challenge, trying to come up with your own ideas. And in another tweet, he even gave him some pretty good ideas. And Morgs even used one of them, but he only did the 24 hours underwater and not the entire week. But even with all of this going on, he decided he liked to copy too much and continued all of this until 2021, when he decided to leave YouTube to work on himself and his content. And his content has changed a lot and now includes less shouting and more original ideas, but it's still not the greatest content, but it's still a big step up from where it was before. Gazillions, aka Mad Brothers. This is probably one of the lesser known Mr. Beast copycats, as at the time it was a smaller channel and isn't an English speaking channel, which meant that Mr. Beast's audience rarely crossed over with Gazillions, aka Mad Brothers. Although they have made a change and stopped copying Mr. Beast and other creators, which is one step above the Stokes twins, it really is the way they copied that makes them stand out from the rest. I think there's a fine line between taking the inspiration from someone's work and completely copying it. And their thumbnails were about 15 kilometers over the line. As my granny would say, there's a difference between scratching your ass and tearing it. Good old granny. They'd basically just taken pictures of their faces and photoshopped it over the top of Mr. Beast's thumbnails, which from afar is less noticeable, but when you take a closer look, you can see the Mr. Beast crew below their faces. But if we look at their channel now, you can see that apart from some of them that they forgot to change to originals, they've basically stopped copying thumbnails and started to try and come up with their own original ideas. And their poor attempt at photoshopping their faces over the top of Mr. Beast's thumbnails brings me back to one question. Could anyone copy Mr. Beast and become YouTube famous? Well, no. Copying Mr. Beast won't get you far as no one really wants to watch a worse version of something they've already watched. But... There is an exception. You can't directly copy Mr. Beast, but you can study the way he makes content and come up with original ideas whilst copying the format and structure of his videos. A good example of this is the channel Airrack, as he makes similar style videos to Mr. Beast, but comes up with his own original ideas that have helped him grow to over 8 million subscribers in less than two years. You can't copy creators' exact ideas and thumbnails, but you can try and figure out how they keep their audience engaged throughout the video and try and do it yourself. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe because one day I want to high five The Rock.